Hi, I'm Beth Doman. I'm the Health Care Services Director at New Horizons Village and today we're going to be doing a short training on the Hoyer Lift uh, newly purchased by New Horizons Village for some of our residents who are becoming non-ambulatory and need assistance being transferred. Hello, my name is Trina Romeo. I work in the Health Services Department. I do a lot of the training and I will assist with the Hoyer Lift procedure. <laughs> this is the Hoyer Lift. This is going to assist us with getting the patient out of the bed and into the bed onto either a jerry chair, a shower chair, or a wheelchair. The wheelchair or the jerry chair will be placed in the proper position for moving the, the resident. Okay, we want to make sure that we stabilize the, the unit. You want to have everything locked down in position tightly and then check it after you lock the wheels. Okay, that is locked. These are called the stabilizer bars. This is the narrow position that you can use for moving, getting around into a tight space or fitting on in, underneath something that's smaller. However, when we start moving the resident from the bed, we really want to make sure that we open this by stepping down and stabilizing. So that's very important. The battery pack is all the power and that gets charged when it's going to be sitting. You're going to also be making sure that the sling is not frayed and that the battery operation that the four bars are there and that you know you have a full battery. To remove the battery pack and replace it place your hand down here to stabilize it you're going to lift up and that is the whole battery pack. To place it back in you're going to line up the little metal and let it lower and you can hear that it's clicked in. And I believe we can start the procedure now. This is the sling. This is the inside that will be to the pit, to the resident because it doesn't have any loops. So the smooth side to the resident. Then you're going, this is the top to the shoulder. We will be move, rolling the, pit, the resident towards the window, towards Beth, and I'll be placing this underneath the resident and then we'll roll the other way. Roll back. I'll support you while you're that way. Okay. Yeah, then you go. All right. Now the resident is in the center of the sling. We'll lower the Hoyer lift. Just pick the arrow that says lower. And it's going to be fairly low because we have to be able to put the hooks onto there. And you may have to reposition the Hoyer so that it's a, you can actually get a little bit closer up. Okay, and of course we lock. You're gonna wrap the leg straps around the back of the thigh, lift the leg. And then you're going to go through and each person has a crisscross. Okay. There's three loops, one, two, three, that will eventually be color coded so you'll know which color for each specific resident. I'm going to loop on to the bar, push down on the black tab, Take a second, the middle one. and loop. And if the person that you're working with puts it on the center, that's the wrong position. They need to put it on the back section. The center is not going to be used in this case. We're going to use the same corresponding loop. She's on the first loop, so I'm also going to go to the first loop. And I have to place the tab down. And then we're in the middle loop. And now she's in the sling. 
You might want to look at and see how much space there is now between the person and where you're going to be lifting them. And if you have to adjust it to a lower one, then just stop and adjust it to the lower one. And now we're going to raise the resident and we're both going to be watching that she's supported. This bar, as she comes up off the bed, her head will be coming closer to this bar. It is cushioned, but the upper portion is not. So we must be very careful about that. Now we're going to raise. We're going to be going up now. You're going in a sling. It's like swinging, like when you were a kid. Is everything okay? We're doing pretty good. Yes. And I will continue. Now, in this case, we have to lower the bed a little bit more because we did have to raise it slightly for the leg on the other side. Now, we're going to unlock and move her over to the side. We have to come this, this way. So I am maneuvering it. Now that we're out of the way of the bed, I'm going to open up the bar again for a better placement for the chair. Press the gate. There we are open now. All right, we need to come over a little bit this way. Double check that the locks on the, the jerry chair are on. Now that we're in position, we're going to relock the wheels on the Hoyer lift and we're going to recheck the wheels on the jerry chair. Your team member can help you with that. We're going to lower you now into the jerry chair. You can use your knee for support for the resident. And now we're watching here when we're lowering it to disconnect and you can stop there. And then, <clears throat> you want to hold the bar, hold the bar while you're taking this off, or it's going to go into the person. Press down on the little tab as you're taking it off. And now it can be raised to be out of the way. Remove the Hoyer lift from the resident and then remove this. Mm -hmm. Do it that way. Okay. And now we're going to remove the sling from behind the person and under the person. First you have to uncrisscross the legs and it helps to slide it under a little bit so that it's out of the way. Now you can ask the resident to move forward and we can remove the whole sling. And there you have your patient or resident moved to a sitting position.